and let me tell you, watch this quarter's expiration. Learn from it. Because this is going to happen four times a year over and over and over again. And the volumes are getting so massive in the SPXs that the moves are going to be insane. And if you catch a 1 to 50 or 20 cents to 30 bucks, very possible. Very possible. Now, I didn't say very probable. Very possible. And if you can understand it more. I mean, like I said, I understand 99%, I put it out there, I put 99% of it, but there's a 1% wild card there that you don't know how they're going to hedge and cover. Uh, very crazy, very crazy. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Omid, anything else? What else you got? Uh, no, you know, uh, just uh, uh, Apple uh, looks like uh, the event was largely in line, right? And then Microsoft, you pointed out, that's uh, that sixty billion buyback is uh, the, over two and a half percent of its market cap. That's that's pretty sizable, uh, and and some dividend increases uh, too. Uh, the the casino stocks are uh, continuing to go down on this Macau news. Uh, so when in uh, Las Vegas Sands, uh, these, these uh, the, I think some people in the room pointed this out. So good trades on those. Looks like kind of some follow through here this morning as well. And um, Apple and event think, was nothing. The Apple event was nothing, right? Nothing. There was nothing. No, it's uh, you know stocks. Stocks not doing. It didn't see sell on the news uh, type event, right? But, uh, you know, it's just been kind of uh, hovering in the 150, 145, 150 area forever, right? So hard trade. Um, that's, uh, yeah, you know, that's that, that's about it. So, but uh, but just hard trades in general. You know, I'm just not doing much. I'd take some SPX puts uh, if, if the opportunity is there, take profits and then chill. Uh, but, uh, you know, last two weeks, uh, just very few trades. Uh, until we get to the event and then uh, and then see I, I don't I don't know what will happen right like I said it's I'm always skeptical when all this stuff is kind of out in the open like on a bullhorn because you know to, to me on Wall Street that just it, it, it that's that's like a game they play to kind of draw uh, the, the people in and then you know, and then everyone just gets kind of screwed. Uh, it's it's yeah. possible, and then it's possible we have huge moves. So I I, I don't know, but um, maybe on Friday I'll have a better idea. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, everybody. Nine nine fifteen. Stock. Excuse me. <clears throat> stocks go up. Stocks go down. Uh, huge SPX volumes all over for all three there's three different spx's in play know this okay this is for the call there's spx weeklies there's spx ex monthlies that explain your european style and then there's spx quarterlies which go out on the 30th <clears throat> so know that massive volumes don't know what's ha happening i would think that if spx takes out 4430 it starts down and people get nervous. If it takes out 4426, it's a massive dive to 4400 and 4491 break takes you down 100 handles. Okay? Uh, 4391. Okay? Break. If we pop off 4430, because people will buy before the number, the, before the 4426. If we pop, we can really, really rip. And if it rips, you're right at 4,500, I mean instantaneously, okay? So just know that, that's what's happening. Insane volumes into Friday. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Here's something to know, just like yesterday. We bought Friday 44, I mean, uh, uh, Monday we bought 4470 puts and they exploded, three to 17, just like that. Just like that. Then yesterday we bought the 4450 puts you know, 10 to 25, if you help. But if you go buy puts and say say we buy, let's say we go buy the 4420s at four bucks, they can go to 20, and in five minutes, they can be two. They can be two in five minutes. 
or they can go to one if you buy them at four, and they can be 20 in 10 minutes, five minutes or 10 minutes. That's how fast they're moving. And these are algo driven, so just know that, okay? So stocks go up, stocks go down, but we told you two weeks ago we got, we're like, you know, be careful on the upside, you gotta trade them, but things are working lower, working lower, working lower into this expiration. Does it rip? I don't know. Does it crater? I don't know. What I know is that 4426 breaks, there is a monster, it better hold 4400, or it's going to drop like you can't imagine. And in seconds, you won't be able to chase it either way. Okay? LRCX, huge downgrade yesterday, it didn't make any sense. Today up a little bit, it needs uh, 609. NVIDIA a little bit better for 231. Uh, BBIG, we bought the stock at 850. We sold the option for one. We covered those, made 60 cents on those. Then we sold them again for $1.80. So we're up, what, 180 plus 60 cents. Uh, we're up $2.40 off our price. Uh, and we're going to cover those probably today and we're going to write next week's. And the goal is to pay for the whole stock in three or four weeks, and then you just let it hold. Okay, PANW. If the market rips and recovers, 490s become intriguing. Okay, Goldman Sachs working lower. The banks look broken. 391, 382. Then we see, and then we see. If the Fed tapers next week, does it go back to 420? I don't know. This was at 416 yesterday, and then straight down. Okay? Snow, snow, snow. Very interesting. They had a conference. Now it's over. You got uh, 310 on the downside. You got 320 the upside. This trade is at 300 two days ago. Wind continues to drop. Kevin nailed this one. He said you could short the pop. We've got to 96, right back down. It's going to 88. So the, the one thing to know about Wynn, and we told you, they let Steve Wynn go. I mean, the, the clowns. I mean, these guys don't understand business, okay? Uh, here, here's the thing. And, and, and this has happened with a lot of companies. This, this has happened with Caesars. This has happened with all these people. And, and it, it, it fascinates me that Wall Street lets this happen. If, if, if Wynn is at... Let's say Wynn is at, I don't know, I'm just making up stuff. Let, let's say Wynn is at $80 and $90 and you get a pandemic and it goes to 30 and then it goes to 20. I'm just making up stuff and it goes to 20. And then you think the pandemic's over. So instead of, say, you're making a million dollars in revenue and now you're only making $200,000 $200 in, $200, in revenue. Why would the stock be higher than it was when you were making a million in revenue? Oh, my God, pandemic's over. They're going to do great. How do you do greater than where you were? you got, got to get back to where you were. Two-thirds of these companies are not even back to where they were, and their stocks are, are $100 higher than where they were, right? Well, I mean, why, 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 why did Wynn go to 120, 118, 120? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Now you got this again. So just know that, 8176. NOW, still, this has been one of the great stocks. Okay, we own some in our IRA. So, so just keep an eye on this one. If this gets down, if the market craters hard, and this pops to 600 fast, just on, on one of these cells, it always have like, I'll, I will put in an order on the 620 calls, the 620 calls for next week for a dollar. I will have an order in on the 620 calls for a dollar. Now, it's at 640, 645. So it, it's $25 in the money. Those things are going to be trading probably at $30. But I'll have an order in there at a dollar. Because if we have a collapse and it just drops only for a second or two, who knows? Maybe you get filled at a dollar. It doesn't hurt you, right? You can put in crazy orders here. You can put in Apple 130 calls for next week at 20 cents. 
if you have a huge collapse that goes down and then pops back up, you get filled. Doesn't mean you're going to get filled, but it doesn't hurt you to put that trade in. Okay, so know that. Google, I'd use the 20, 2750 calls at a dollar. At a dollar. They're $100 in the money right now. But what if the market craters and Google drops 30 points a minute for four or five minutes? This happened in 87. This happened in 2008. People got filled. What Procter & Gamble, if you remember, dropped 35 points and people got it 35 points lower. Some people sold it 35 points lower. And less than a minute later, it came all the way back and you made 35 points. Crazy orders. It's possible to get filled. Shop, 1509, 1391, NVAX, 366, they need to file applications, 209. CMG, 1809, 1752. So we need to go, I'll probably go look up the earnings date on CMG, and I'll probably put in an order to buy calls on the 1900s, and probably two bucks. Well, Sam, they're going to be like 45. But what if it craters to 1700 on the market crater and then you get filled at two bucks? Possible. So just know that. There's a crazy orders. Amazon, 33.92, 35.32. Restoration hardware, 721. UPSD, 291. Apple, 156 up. 141 down. Netflix, no push at all. 592. 562 down. BTNX, this one's very simple. I mean, 356, 262. MRNA, 441. MDB, 512 up. 462 down. Roku, 316 uh, down. 300. 292, 361 up, way up there, Google, 2906, 2909, 2809 on the downside, Tesla, nice move back, held very nicely, if this can pop to 762, this is all about this big credit, if the credit goes through, okay, downside, crazy premiums on the downside, 691. Okay? Then we see. Look at the SPX go lower. SPX 4420 for today or 540 for today. I really think it's going to test this 4430 area. Under 4426 craters. Comments, questions. What do you think of Microsoft? Microsoft is good, but here's the thing with the buybacks. They don't have to buy back today. They don't have to do anything on the buyback today. Right? So you got a buyback announcement. They're, gonna, they're probably saying the same thing. Hey, if the market craters Friday, right? And and uh, so I'm thinking about it. I mean, the company itself can put in, it's a real thing. The company itself can put in order say, hey, if it hits 280, we're going to buy everything back. And their order is sitting in there with a, with a broker right now at 280. And if you have a crash day and it hits 280, Microsoft buys it all back. You don't know that. So I, I, I wouldn't think so much about these buybacks for today. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't use VIX. I don't use TLT. I don't use anything. I look at premiums. And the premiums are telling me things are, when one or two things are mispriced, we go buy them one way or the other, and it tells you what's going to happen. When everything is mispriced, everything is mispriced, that's telling you people are scared. They don't know what's going to happen. And when, the, when people are buying the 3,500, 3,600 puts, when people are buying 2,000 puts, they don't know what's going to happen. And let me tell you, things can happen. Be prepared. Put in some crazy orders. It, think about it. Go, go put in an order to buy MRNA 300 calls. 300 calls, maybe the 350 calls at a dollar. If it completely collapses on a market dump and you get filled at a dollar, 
and then it goes to 10 within two seconds, you got filled. If you don't get filled, you didn't lose anything. You can put in crazy orders. That's what's happening for Friday. Okay. Sorry about all that. Uh, trying to drum up energy. Thank you, guys. Everybody have a great train day.